Well, Gene, this is Kelly Ayotte's first foray back into electoral politics since 2016 when she lost her re-election bid to the U.S. Senate to Maggie Hassan. She enters this race for governor as perhaps one of the biggest names Republicans could put forward but she is still likely to face a very competitive GOP primary. In a one-on-one -on -one interview in her hometown of Nashua this morning, Ayotte told us a top priority in this campaign will be public safety. She says she wants to get fentanyl off the streets and, as she puts it, end the revolving door of the 2018 bail law passed at the State House that continues to let violent and dangerous criminals go free after arrest. If Ayotte makes it to the general election, abortion policy is likely to be a top issue, particularly for whoever the Democratic nominee ends up being. Ayotte tells us she thinks the current law, a ban at 24 weeks gestation, makes sense and she's not looking to change it. Having already served in Washington, Ayotte says she does not want to go back, potentially a point of contrast with her opponents. I have the background and experience, but most importantly, I have the fire in the belly uh, for New Hampshire. And, you know, it's not about me. I don't have any other aspirations. It's really about the people of New Hampshire and making sure that New Hampshire remains safe, prosperous and free. Towards the end of the 2016 race, Ayotte unendorsed Donald Trump specifically over the Access Hollywood tape and the revelations that Mr. Trump had bragged about groping women. Some believe that ended up costing her votes. This time around, Ayotte says she will support whoever the nominee is for the Republicans in 2024. Reporting live in Nashua, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.